Hi, good evening, everyone. So, in the last uh, chapter, we had gone ahead and we had talked about the single input case. In today's class, I want to do multiple input case. That is the first thing I want to go ahead and do. Secondly, I also want to go ahead and I want to talk about the long run scenario also. So I want to distinguish between the short run scenario and the long run scenario and the difference between the two. So when I talk about a single input production function that is represented by y as a function of x, there is just one input that we have. But when I talk about multiple inputs, when I talk about more than one input, then what happens basically is that with multiple input cases, then beta we get y is a function of x1 and x2. So now I have two inputs. Input one is is represented, its quantity is represented by x1. So x1 units of input 1 and x2 units of input 2. So now I am representing two inputs, right, with their quantities. In general, you can have multiple inputs. I could have extended it to x1, x2, x3, x in SA. Each input comes at a price. So what I can go ahead and say is that the price of x1, not x1, I, I should say input 1, the price of input 1, that is w1. And the price of input 2, that is w2. So each input comes at a price. Input 1 comes at w1 and input 2 comes at w2. Also, you have to try and understand that we can divide the entire analysis in terms of period. So when I talk about period, this period can either be long run or short run. So the period can either be a long run period or it can be a short run period. A short run period is any period where some inputs will be fixed, which you cannot change. So for example, I can say that my capital is fixed, but my labor becomes variable. Labor can be changed, but capital cannot be changed. However, a long run period is any period where everything is variable. Every factor is variable. So if I can fluctuate every factor, then it becomes a long run period. But if I cannot fluctuate every factor, huh? if some factors are assumed to be fixed, then it becomes a short run period. Now, there's a statement that, that was made by uh, uh, Keynes and that was known as the long run is misleading. To, so he he was not a long run believer. If you go to macroeconomics, you will see that classicals were long run believer. Ki long run me sabko employment mil jayegi. Everybody will be employed. Long run me uh, unemployment natural level pe hogi. So the classicals were the one who always believed in the long run scenario, but not Keynes. Huh? So Keynes he always said that long run is misleading guide to current affair. So he said that in the long run, everyone is dead. We are all dead in the long run. We are all dead. This is what he went ahead and he mentioned, right, Peter? So he was not a believer of the long run, by the way, just, just mentioning the statement. huh? Okay. 
सो नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू गो अड एंड वी वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द लॉन्ग रन क्यों लॉन्ग रन की मैं बात कर रही हूँ बिकॉज लेट्स ए दैट लेट्स से दैट माई प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन कॉमा एक्स टू सो बेटा इफ इट इज अ शॉर्ट रन पीरियड देन सम ऑफ द इनपुट के नॉट बी चेंज सो ऐसा भी तो हो सकता है दैट इफ आई से इनपुट वन इज से वेरिएबल एंड इनपुट टू लेट्स से इज फिक्सड देन आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू चेंज दिस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल सो इफ आई से वाई इज इक्वल टू ए के L. Say k is capital and it is fixed at k bar units. So when k is fixed, then suppose this k bar is twenty. Suppose a is one. So my y will be twenty into L. So y will only be affected by L as you will increase L. Y will increase. ठीक है, सो दिस इज अ शॉर्ट रन प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दैट आउटपुट इज अफेक्टेड बाय लेबर सो आई टेक लेबर हियर आई टेक आउटपुट हियर एंड आई गेट अ कर्व इन दिस केस इट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इट कुड हैव बीन एल स्क्वेर इन दैट केस यू कुड हैव गॉड लाइक दिस इट कुड हैव बीन रूट ऑफ एल जो इकोनॉमिक्स बोलती है वो बोलती है इट शुड बी कॉन्केव सो इट शुड बी लाइक दिस समझे so try and understand that my production function in short run where output is only a function of one of the inputs ek hi input se affect hoga but in the long run both my inputs can fluctuate so if i say y is equal to kl then k fluctuates and l also fluctuates so both clap capital and labor are variable ab samjho baat ko If I keep k at ten and l at ten, my output will be ten. If I keep k at twenty and l at ten, my output will be twenty into ten to hundred. That means as I will fluctuate, the amount of k and l, my y will keep fluctuating. So in that sense, it should become a three-dimensional figure: capital, labor, output. So capital ten, labor ten. should give me an output of 100 hmm capital 10 labor 20 should give me an output of 200 so it will become a three dimensional figure just like we did in indifference curve now it is very difficult to work with 3d figures to hum kya karenge beta we will go ahead and we will hold output constant so we will ask what are the different combinations of labor and capital that give me a given level of output to main bolungi ki acha i want to have output at 100 then k at 10 and l at 10 can give me output at 100 if my production function is this y is equal to k similarly k can be 20 and l can be 5 still i will get an output of 100 k can be 5 l can be 20 and still i will get an output of 100 so basically for different combinations of l and k i will get the output at 100 l5 k20 l10 k10 l20 k5 right now this thing is called an iso quant iso means equal quant means quantity so iso quant means equal quantity when you go ahead and you keep quantity the same across the curve and you ask what are the different combinations of labor and capital which can give me the same level of output so i'm fixing output at 200 or 100 in this case and i'm asking what are the different labor capital combinations that give me the same level of the output then that is basically giving rise to iso quant baat clear hui hai 
अच्छा नाउ आई हैव समथिंग व्हिच इज नोन एज टेक्नोलॉजिकली एफिशिएंट और इनएफिशिएंट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एफिशिएंसी आल्सो हां 